Hello and welcome to Hanaway Street Original Church of God located at 507 Hanaway Street in Columbia, Tennessee. We welcome you to our virtual service and hope that you are blessed by our service. And if there's anything we can do, please let us know. God bless you and be blessed. Praise the Lord. Today we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank the Lord that he allowed us to see a brand new day. Yes, sir. I need you. Lord, bless our pastor. Lord, just 
Keep leading him and guiding him. Give him strength. Give him knowledge that he might be able to lead your people. And Father, Lord, bless us. Not only Halloway, but every church is open in your name. And Father, Lord, we realize that we all going to have to lead this old world. We do not know when and we don't know how. But it's a sure thing we're going to have to leave here. And Father, Lord, while we are down here on this Jesus journey, Lord, we just ask you to go with us and stand by. Mm -hmm. Build us all up while we're weak and prop us up on every lean and side. Mm -hmm. And Father, Lord, I'm so thankful, mm -hmm. so grateful mm -hmm. to be here calling upon your mighty name. Yes, sir. And Father, Lord, when, when I'm through calling upon your mighty name, Lord, I know, know a whole lot of things, but Lord, I do know when I leave this old world, mm -hmm. I'll be in the hand of a just God. Yes, sir. One who will never, never do no wrong. Amen. Bless us. Bless us in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask it all. Amen. The scripture lesson will be coming from the 18th chapter of Luke from the 28th through the 33rd verses from Luke the 18th chapter starting at the 28th and concluding with the 33rd verse and it reads like this then Peter said lo we have left all and followed thee and he said unto him verily I say unto you that there is no man that have left house parents, or brethren, or wife, or children, by the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Then he took unto him the twelve, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all the things that are written by the, by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. But he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitfully entreated, and spit it on. The 33rd and last verse. And they shall scourge him, and put him to death. And on the third day, he shall rise again. The word of God for the people of God. And we will all say amen. For our announcements, we ask that you continue to keep all those who are sick and the families who are in bereavement in your thoughts and prayers. We invite you to join us next Sunday for our virtual worship service at 9.30 a.m. via Facebook Live or YouTube. Giving opportunities at Hanaway Street are through our website at www.hanawaystocog.com or through the Givelify app by searching for Hanaway S-T-O-C-O-G and click Give. Or your offerings can be mailed to P.O. Box 822, Columbia, Tennessee 38402. We thank you in advance for your giving and ask God's blessings over each of you.
And welcome to Hanaway Street, where he comes to God here in Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, we thank God for you tuning in on this morning. And we hope that you are blessed by the Word of God. Uh, this morning, our scripture lesson is going to come from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. Jeremiah, chapter 17. We're going to begin reading at verse 5. The Bible declare these words. This is what the Lord says. Curse is the man who trusts in mankind, who makes the flesh his strength and turns his heart from God. He would be like a shrub in the desert. He would not see when prosperity comes. He would dwell in the parched places of the desert, in the salt land where no one lives. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. He is like a tree planted by waters that sends out its roots towards the streams. It does not fear when he comes, and it leaves where it always green. It don't worry in the year of drought, nor does it cease to be fruitful. Thus is the reading of the Word of God. And just for a moment, I'd like to use for a topic, don't just exist. Gracious God, we thank you on today for this moment, this opportunity. So Lord, I ask that you allow me and me to sit down and that you and me stand up. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't just exist. A lot of us find ourselves wondering, what is my purpose? Uh, we ask ourselves and have asked preachers and missionaries and mothers and deacons and stewards and trustees, what is my calling? H how do I know what my purpose is in the church? How do I know the difference between a gift and a calling? How can I decipher between my talent and a gift? I, I don't just want to be somebody who lived life going to church Sunday after Sunday, giving my all, and still, at the end of the day, find myself asking, what is my purpose? I don't just want to exist. And then there are those who come to church who say what they're not going to do. I'm just going to sit and enjoy service. I'm not going to participate on any particular board. I'm not going to volunteer for <clears throat> any particular ministry. I'm just going to come, get my word, get my Sunday fixed, and go home. The same home that you left in turmoil. It's the same home that you return back in turmoil. The same life that you live Saturday night and early Sunday morning is the same life you return back to. There have been no change, but I came to tell you this morning, stop just existing. A lot of us know what our gifts are fail to use them. A lot of us know what our talents are and fail to use them. A lot of us know what we have been anointed and called to do but fail to walk in our calling and or in our anointing. And you find yourself just existing. The problem with that is because we have become so complacent and being consistent in complacency. It's just the normal. It's just the everyday thing. We know on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday we go to work. And then on Sunday we go to church and get ready for the next week. But nothing in our environment is changing because the nucleus of the atom or the atom in the nucleus has not changed. You have not changed. You are the subject matter expert 
want change and you refuse to change and you only just exist. Here the Bible says that the Lord says curses the man who trusts in man and maketh flesh his arm whose heart departed from the Lord. The one who makes man king. The one who makes man and items their God. The ones who have turned from the Lord, who come to church on first Sunday only and think you're going to get in the kingdom of God. The one who sings in the choir only when their song is coming up to be sung as a selection. The one who prays only when their family reunion is hosting the family reunion at the church. The one who serves only when their tongue agrees are the one that's on the line. The one who ushers only when their friends are the ones who's been invited for friends and family day. The one who shouts only when uh, their husband or their boyfriend attends church. The one who preaches only when there's money in the offering trade. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, but cursed is that man that comes that make men their idol and their flesh and worship men and trust in men whose heart has been turned and departed from the Lord. Cursed because you only exist. The Bible says in verse 6 of chapter 17 of Jeremiah, for he shall be like the heat in the desert. It shall not see the good coming. The ones who only exist only focuses on themselves. The ones who only exist could care less what's going on around them. The ones who only exist just a nonchalant about life and the trials and tribulations of life. The ones who only exist don't really care about the storms that come so it is part of our life. But God sends storms your way to look to the hill. God sends storms your way to make you stronger. God sends storms your way to open your eyes. But too many of us only exist and we're living in the midst of storm to fail to realize we're in the midst of a storm because we're only existing. We're so focused on what men say and less on what God has to say. For you should not see good coming, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not inhabitable. But the Bible goes on and says, But blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in him. Blessed is a man who, who trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. It's important to have your hope built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Jesus came, as we celebrate this first Sunday, Jesus came and died on Calvary's cross so that we may have hope not in mankind, not in supervisors, not in a marital status or financial stability, but your hope must be built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest phrase, but holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the son of rock, I stand. All of the grounds are sinking. Stand blessed of those who trust in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree by the waters and has spread it out for roots by 
the rivers old to trust in the Lord. Those who realize that I don't just exist. I can bless somebody else. I'm blessed to be blessed. I am given to give. I am, 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 am here in order to help somebody else along the way. Here I am. And when you're blessed to bless and you give to give, the Bible said that you return it in good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I wish I had some folks out there that understand that God has used me in a manner in which I've been used to be used. God has blessed me in a manner in which I can bless somebody else. God has spoken to me in order for me to speak to somebody else. I refuse just to exist. For my roots spread it out by the rivers and shall not see when he cometh. But our leaves shall be green and shall not be careful or worried in the year of drought. Neither cease from yielding fruit. Beloved, as we hear in the first Sunday of December, this has been a dry yield for a lot of people. This has been a dry year for our children. This has been a dry year for small businesses. This has been a dry year for hospitals that had surgeries planned. But yet, ICU beds and CCU beds have overtaken the population. This has been a dry year for college. This has been a dry year for sport entertainment. This has been a dry year for the churches. But I stop by to tell you, those who refuse to just exist, but those who say I'm here for a reason can understand that even though it's been a dry year, God has blessed me to wake up this morning. God has blessed me to have food on my table. God has blessed me to have clothes on my back. God has blessed me to have finances still come in. God has blessed me so I'm going to live so God can use me. I'm going to work so God can use me. I'm going to pray so God can use me. I'm going to sing so God can use me. I refuse to just exist, but here I am to worship, and here I am to bow down, and here I am to say, you're my God. So this morning, I challenge you not just to exist, but do what you can to build the kingdom of God. Do what you can to be a product of the blood. Do what you can to help somebody else that has fallen by the wayside. Don't just exist. Ask, what can I do? Ask, is there any way I can help? Don't just exist and let life pass you by. But you ought to live like the tree planted by waters whose branches reach out to the tree. For Jesus is the fountain that never runs dry. Jesus told the woman, if you drink of me, you will never thirst again. So when you stop just existing, you realize even when the droughts come, God is still in the blessing business. Even when I don't know where my next check's coming from, God will provide. Even when I can't see my way, God will make a way out of no way. And so this morning, I ask you, don't just exist. 
but be in a position where God can use you. And have the Lord understand. The Lord, if you need somebody, I'll go if I have to go by myself. And there may be somebody that's tuned in today. You said, I'm tired of just existing. I want to be used by God. I want to be in the number. I want to be part of the family. All you have to do is confess and believe that Jesus is Lord and you shall be saved. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Don't just exist. May gracious God, we thank you for another word. We thank you for the hearts that were touched, the ears that heard, and the lives that were changed. As we come to the last first Sunday of this year, Lord, thank you for continuing to bless us in spite of our circumstances. And now, Lord, as we go through another week, we ask through the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, that we rest through the body and keep each of us, henceforth now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you and be blessed. Thank you again for tuning in to Hanaway Street, Original Church of God virtual service. We hope that something was said or done that lifted your spirits, your heart, your soul, your body, and your mind. If there's anything that we can do for you, please let us know. Again, we're located at 507 Hanaway Street, Columbia, Tennessee. Again, thank you and be blessed.